For the robot boss fight, or also known as BattleBot T900, you will need a good melee build to beat it quickly. Put all your skill points into the melee side, but more importantly, you should get this skill, which temporarily increases damage after dashing, as it will be very useful whenever you use the Wild Blade on the robot. You don't need your build to be exactly like this, but I highly recommend that you have the combat charge at the very least. As for the gems, the leech gem is probably something you shouldn't take off moving forward, but as for the other gems, I prefer to increase my melee damage, but if you have a third gem slot, then you can go for a higher critical strike chance or higher critical strike damage. The leech gem is located here, near the throne and elevator outside the Cradle of Light. For the weapons, you must have the Wild Blade and it will also be handy to have the Spear of Cycles which is located here. But the spear is not necessary for this guide as long as you are efficient with your wild blade. As the fight begins, keep spamming your arrow button just to get some cheap shots in like this. For this phase, just evade the red lasers as quickly as possible as these indicate where its attacks are going to appear. You have to use your shield during times when it may be impossible to avoid the lasers. There will be 3 of these laser attacks before transitioning to another phase. Whenever possible, charge up your wild blade then dash before unleashing it on the robot. This allows you to deal the most damage possible, but be careful not to dash in too close or else you'll get damage. With this phase, you can jump right on top of the robot's extended arms and then keep an eye out for the glowing electricity across the arms as these indicate where the robot will shoot its vertical lasers. Don't forget to dash before unleashing a wild blade to inflict the most damage possible and then keep attacking it when you're within range. After 4 of these randomized vertical lasers, a robot will perform a sweeping attack with the same vertical lasers. Just do a pogo attack or a spear attack on its head before heading towards the other side so that you can maximize your damage output. Repeat this tactic as you go back to the other side. For this one, the trick is to bait the crystal into targeting you at a certain spot so that it lingers there before you attempt to attack the robot. Just pogo the robot when necessary and repeat the baiting tactic before attacking the robot. I like doing it this way, but you can try tricking the crystal in any way you prefer as long as you keep yourself within range to attack the robot. When the robot goes towards a corner, it will begin to emit this electricity around itself while preparing to charge towards the opposite wall. If you're quick enough, you can attack the robot before it charges forward, but as soon as possible, go towards the opposite wall and climb it. With some practice, you will be able to tell exactly when it will charge forward as the sound it creates goes higher in pitch before it rushes towards the opposite wall. Make sure to leave the wall before it charges forward or else it will damage you even if you're high up on the wall. Ideally, you should land right on this spot so that you'll have time to shoot an arrow and then jump out to safety before the smaller robots try to hit you. The robot charges forward 3 times before transitioning to another phase. Shoot arrows when possible and use the wild blade when available. Just remember that your wild blade is more powerful after a dash, granted that you have the combat charge skill. If you don't have enough blood, you can do a pogo attack at least twice instead of using the spear. Once you get its health low enough, it will fire this small yellow laser that will bounce back and forth across the screen throughout the rest of the fight. You can also attack the robot while it's busy firing this bouncing laser. Its other attack patterns will continue to be the same, but this time you have to keep an eye out for the bouncing laser in order to make sure you don't get damage. Use your shield when necessary. Take note that the smaller robots will drop blood, so take advantage of that when necessary. Careful not to stand too close like my mistake here because the start of this attack can damage you. Once the bouncing laser disappears, it means that the fight is over. 
This last part is unnecessary, I'm just doing it for fun. If this video helped you in any kind of way, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon as well and maybe leave a thumbs up. I also stream a variety of games on Twitch, so you can check out the link for my Twitch channel in the description down below. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one.